So, good morning, everybody, and uh, welcome to the digital arena. So, it's Football World Cup, and uh, we all are part of it, and Bosch is all also part of it. Uh, we had this story uh, with Mario Tito. He is um, the announcer at the arena uh, in Salvador Bahia. And uh, he's very passionate about our uh, sound systems, but he's also very passionate and talks a lot about strategy. So for a minute, let's take his perspective. And uh, so he's sitting right in the middle of this arena, take a look on the, the green, and always sees uh, two teams competing with uh, each uh, 11 players. So, um, and you know, this is where football, it's really tactical. And when it comes to strategy, it's really, really getting complex. So the difference between football and digital game is that in digital, in our game, there are many, many more players involved. So I would like to ask you, I mean, you're all companies, at working at companies or at agencies. Uh, how many channels do you own as a company? or as an agency for your clients. So who, who has more than, who's owner or manager of more than 11 channels? Raise your hand. No, you, you're, not, you're not awake. So who, who owns more or manages more than, take, take all the social media channels, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, take all the apps, your digital properties, take all your websites, your microsites, so who has more than, who's managing more than uh, 11 channels? Raise your hand. Okay. Who has more than, as a company, not as a person, as a company or as an agency? Who has more than 25? Raise your hands. Raise your fist, only one. No, I don't, I don't believe so. <laughs> who has more than 50? There are some, who has more than 100? Pinterest, Facebook, no? Okay, so good. So um, this is our situation. Um, we have uh, 200 apps. Uh, we have 300 official social media channels. We have more than 500 websites. Um, a lot of digital platform. And so this is, I mean, less is more, it's not, it's, this is a mirror of our, of our company structure. We have so many business models, from small to big, from, from B2C to B2B. Um, so this is our complex structure. So um, it's a very bottom-up way of content creation and content strategy. And it's, it's constantly needed a, a kind of orchestration. And, and this is a really long-term uh, thing. It's like an uh, endurance race. You see uh, the Le Mans racing cars, also a nice Bosch story. It's really a long-term approach. And the key question is how to ensure consistency and also have impact on reputation but also on sales. And uh, so I want to pick into five elements of uh, this, what I call the content strategy of orchestration. Uh, for such a structure, and you've, you will see, not theory, this is not theory, this is what we have done the last three years. Um, each uh, picture stands for uh, a story, so this is Mario Tito, and uh, you will get to know more, more people from us as well. So the basic for all content strategy is f at Bosch is it's storytelling. Um, this is the foundation because it's, it has a long heritage and it's social. So our ancestors were sitting around the campfire and sharing so stories. So this perfectly fits to, to social media. This also perfectly fits to our company culture because we are a supplier in a way we are, we are very much the buddy in the, in the story. We are not the hero. So uh, we're kind of eye level communication, a very social approach to it. And um, storytelling is also very intercultural. When I speak to my colleagues in Brazil or in, in United States they, and say, hey, let's do a content marketing strategy, I say, okay. If I say, hey, let's do a story together, I, they get emotional, they get inspired, they say, hey, I have so many great stories, let, let's, let's share, let's do something. And um, 
So it's working as a global foundation for, for all content creation and content strategy. And the best thing about storytelling is that it's transmedia. It works throughout all those platforms and channels. So even if the, the, the story is, is uh, shared and others tell the story and things come up, there are some basic story patterns, some core messages in translating our brand value into, into the world. So this is really the foundation of a content strategy. But the more you tell stories in that way, um, the more it gets complicated with the red thread. So a central plotting across 350 social media channels, how goes that? So we learn a lot from, from online games. So this is one game we, we had in China. It's called The Lord of the City. It's an infrastructure game with Bosch. And um, so what we learned is that um, the users, the stakeholders in those games are in constantly loops. They are in the loop, and they want to reach the next level. So this is a good thing also for transmedia storytelling to, to build loops across all those channels. And you start in a story, and you build a loop in the story or to the next story. You build a loop to a country. You build a loop to a special product. You build a loop to HR. And in a perfect world, we see those people, our stakeholders, in the loops in our, in our online world. And we say, hey, you engaged with us on Facebook. You engage in us on our websites for this and that campaign. We invite you to take part in our open innovation community. Would you have some ideas for new products for Bosch, for new ideas for services at Bosch? So in a perfect world, we keep the people in the loop. And this is also to bring together all those various platforms uh, on the basic of storytelling. So one campaign you see after, uh, I will show a short uh, video um, on, on some campaigns we, we did. So one, one thing we did was um, uh, on automated driving. And so the connected car. And the situation was like that. Everybody was talking about this Google car. And uh, so we said, normally we don't outperform big campaigns for, for a product, which is a more long-term technology coming into the market. Um, but at that point, we say, hey, OK, let's, let's, let's show the world that there are other nice cars driving automatically. Uh, so this was the first B2C campaign for a B2B automotive product. And um, I will show you later, but because it's a long-term topic, uh, I, I know, don't know who, who had the opportunity to drive in, in a self-driving car or automated car, connected car. No car guys around? OK. Who, who would like to do that? I mean, on the Autobahn highway, you're, OK, Daimler is there, OK. <laughs> but who would like to drive this car uh, 150 miles and without the hands on the steering wheel and just reading a magazine? OK. But I think it will take some time that really this gets a mass phenomenon. And uh, so it's a, it's a long-term approach. And we developed more and more from, from this one-shot campaign we did for the last Frankfurt Auto Show uh, to show, hey, there's more than the Google car, uh, but uh, into a permanent environment of this constantly game. And I will show you some, some specials, uh, some ideas later on uh, in the video. So, and the more we get into this permanent campaigning, into this game-like storytelling transmedia thing, uh, the more Mm, we had bridges between the, the communication traditional silos. So co corporate communication, marketing, sales. Suddenly, uh, we work together. And the highest level of content marketing or storytelling, uh, the highest level you get in those loops uh, is to sell. So m my definition, which I like very much about content marketing, is, is when, when story loops really turn into leads or into sales. Um, and it's hard to find examples for that, um, because we, we were in complex communication environments. And we had some nice thing. It's a, a laser leveler. So you see it. You can draw lines on, on, on the wall with that laser lever, leveler. And uh, this was a product. I mean, it was a B product. And it was the second generation in the third year. So 
the sales curve normally goes like down. And um, so we said, but this product has many, many fans outside, especially street artists. So they love this, they, they build environments. So we say, hey, this is a cool story with the street artists. So we spray our website with graffiti and we had kind of viral ideas and we just did this story without the purpose of really selling this product uh, from the corporate side. But the sales guys say, hey, that's, let's do a co-creation. And all the examples I show you uh, a co-creation between all those disciplines where we say, okay, um, let's work together. Let's create content across those silos. And um, so we had for this product really the sales funnel. I mean, we are not, basically we are a B2B company, but we are some fields where we can really measure it. And here are the figures. So our investments and the sales curve went up. And this was the only measure compared to the year before. So it was really a big success also in terms of margin. So everybody was very, very happy and say, hey, let's go on with this storytelling because that really sells. And that was kind of also for the B2C companies to, to invest more in storytelling and uh, in content marketing. So the next level, if you have these campaigns and this all around, it's it's... It's not only breaking down the boundaries between the communication silos, it's always also breaking down the boundaries between online and offline. Because somehow you have to have an offline experience. And this is the step from, from storytelling to story doing. So this is an example, uh, a recent one. So um, it's the Bosch World Experience. You see also in the video I show after. Um, so. We, uh, we ask people, hey, we invited people to join us on a world trip, so on six destinations, and uh, there were 3.5 million people showing up. 50,000 were really having this test and were, were um, uh, ready to, t uh, to join the journey. And finally, now we, we chose six out of them. And uh, in end of uh, July, uh, you can follow up this on Bosch experience. Um, they travel around the world and experience Bosch. So this is story during, and it's not a one-shot campaign. We did the same thing also around our annual report. We did some exp uh, experience around our new uh, research center in, in Renning, and, and uh, the next campaign running after this is uh, called I Love My I Fridge. So it's experience. Um, in, in, in the kitchen and uh, lifestyle thing. So, and this is all brought together and bundled with a hashtag experience Bosch. And um, it's always hard to, to explain and talk about experience uh, with PowerPoint. So that's why we have a short film. Uh, it's not an image film. It's more a demonstration reel where we, we brought together all those stuff I talked about this. So uh, it's six minutes, it's a bit long, but it perfectly shows uh, how this works together in terms of content strategy um, of orchestration. <laughs>
is up? Eric Rambiner here, flying high above Central Florida. And uh, Bosch has come out with an awesome new technology asking the question, what would you do with more time? Here's what I do with an extra day every year. Every year, many of us waste an entire day on parking. But what if you could have this time back because of smart technologies made by Bosch, such as self-parking cars? What would you do? Welcome to the Boss World Experience 2014, a journey of exploration to six destinations around the world in 16 days. The mission is to discover what we at Bosch mean when we say, invented for life. While on the road, our group of six explorers will share their experiences and impressions of fascinating projects, such as the hydraulic systems of the Panama Canal, automated driving in Palo Alto, and the Shanghai World Financial Center. Now, who are these explorers? And could you be one of them? You certainly could, if you're rather adventurous by nature. If you're curious about how the world works and wonder how you could make it even better. If you're engaged in social media, driven by curiosity, defined by talent and ambition. And if you're ready to engage with your fellow explorers to create a blogumentary, part film, part blog, which tells a one-of-a-kind story. Does this sound like your kind of adventure? Then apply. Test your skills in a short quiz and seize your opportunity to become one of the Bosch World Explorers to travel to all these amazing locations. So, let's come to my next part. It's easy. The, the one thing is... This, this content strategy uh, and the content creation and things. The other thing is the backbones for execution and really not only take the connected company as a, a topic for communication for the outside world, but really bring it into the life first internally in your company and be a connected company. So uh, there are three uh, key elements I would like to talk about. These are the backbones of this kind of content strategy of orchestration. So first of all, it's, it's what we called three years ago Enterprise 2.0. So we realized social media is much more than communications and marketing. So we, we kicked off a big project about, well, Enterprise 2.0 and uh, organizational structures, how to work in agile teams, how to be fast in dialogue um, uh, outside. And uh, this is also, a great thing for uh, content creation. We set it up a global platform for social collaboration across uh, all Bosch. And uh, then first time we realized in our, somebody set up a content sharing community. Uh, there were first some people only from central functions, then HR joined, then countries and business units joined. Now there are 200 people in this community sharing content. We have so many content creators in our company, and so many great stories. And before it was really hard to get those stories. Uh, it's really hard to find a Reed Timmer as a storm chaser who has this car from Bosch and stuff like that. So 
Uh, now we had a full pipeline of stories, really great stories, uh, coming up from all over the world. Um, this is uh, especially a great thing for, for smaller business units and smaller divisions in the B2B sector. Because this example uh, we showed from um, uh, the cook in Malaysia, uh, the food expert, uh, this was a, a story about packaging machines. Big packaging machines, a, a purely B2B business. And we did that for the World Food Day, because on that island they have a packaging machine now having smaller proportions of rice. Uh, and now they don't waste the rice anymore. Uh, so. These are the kind of stories which really also outperform throughout the uh, World Food Day. This is a B2B function. Uh, a few years ago, they weren't being able to do storytelling and campaigning uh, and having on, on one event like the World Food Day a campaign out to the right moment. But now they do, because they are in the framework. They're, they're part of it, and they're, they're collaborating. Um, next thing is... Uh, and this is also a topic of this Enterprise 2.0 or digital transformation or social business, how you would call that. So we had a lot of hotlines, especially in the security area. So all the fire alerts and uh, security thing we do. And uh, so the last three years, they transformed to be a social media communication center. And now two thirds of their clients uh, are out of Bosch. They're, not, they're offering those services as a business model for many other companies. Uh, if you're interested, I can uh, give you the contact. But it's really great because they are out all over the world, and that's a really a key asset which makes me sleep really good at night because I know those guys, uh, they're Bosch people. Um, they're about quality, so I don't have to talk about our brand positioning to them. They, they live it. And we, we, we try to also distinguish ourselves in terms of the quality of dialogue. We do, not to be the fastest. We are not always the fastest as a big company, but really to make relevance also in the dialogue. Um, so they do the monitoring for us. They are a kind of uh, listen and command center. Uh, they support our campaigns. When we have this campaign out and 3.5 uh, million people run in a microsite and contact us, they are able to contact them back and say, hey, that's also cool. Go for the next level in storytelling. Take part in this community. Take part in that community. The next thing is, so very technical, you have to have a, a really an internet platform or content marketing platform uh, to really distribute the contact, uh, content uh, fast rollouts in, in, in countries. So you have to have uh, media asset management, consistent analytics behind. Uh, and this not only in your microsite but across all those 500 websites uh, we told you. So to sum up, these are the content learnings or content strategy learnings uh, I, I would sum up. So you need both. You need two pillars. You need one content strategy pillar um, with storytelling as an emotional foundation uh, to bring everybody on the same page, with gamification uh, to bring the people in the loops and bring them to the next level, to have campaigns focusing, getting more reach on certain topics, always with a strong drive to convergence, to really drive sales, to really turn story loops into leads, and then to really work across all the ch um, functions, sales, marketing, com, all communications function functions, online and offline, to do really story doing and not only storytelling. But this is only possible if you're really working as a connected company. And we just started. I mean, this is not that I'm saying, hey, we are perfect. This is, these are some elements we learned that brings those 350 players, which are more than 11, together and give them a kind of framework how they can interact, how ca they can be strong. And they collaborate across uh, the traditional silos with this collaboration platform. Um, they're backed up with a strong communication center who's doing all the first level, and they have powerful uh, infrastructure behind really to outperform those campaigns. So these are the con content strategy learnings so far uh, we had at Bosch. And uh, 
So the next thing we, we want to approach is, now we, we learned how, how this is functioning. I mean, we, we had done so many, you have seen, with almost every business unit, we had this kind of co-creation. It wasn't that, that the central guys are saying, hey, now we have to do this, this, this. We, we, we developed them together uh, in, in this social collaboration spirit, in this crowdsourcing basic idea. And now everybody is really uh, feeling good with that. We had the brand days uh, last week. And so um, we said, okay, next, next year we have one joint campaign, one co-creation campaign in every unit. And it's not always a co-creation between central and division. It can be also co-creation between the divisions. So everybody engaged. Now we speed up. And because we think that this cross-seller co collaboration is the key for not only successful content marketing, but in the end for successful social business. So we invest in, in more content creation, but on the same side, we look for how these story loops really turn into leads. We measure them better, and we consider them as a driver for our business, also in the B2B area. And this is, this is appreciated, not only um, by sales tickets, but the storytelling. Uh, this is not that sales-driven. I mean, there's only one story loop going to sales. But the people really appreciate on our website the quality of the content and uh, the non-paid uh, direct approach. So final slide. How far do we get with that? Back to the digital arena. So, I mean, there are those guys around. You know them, the kings of content marketing, uh, the fast-moving consumer goods, who are doing really awesome uh, campaigns. Uh, we will never have those central budgets to outperform a thing like that, but we think we can reach a good, a good share of voice also in the digital arena. So, uh, it's the, the Red Sea uh, in the internet. I would uh, take this point out. Uh, and come to the blue sea uh, of the internet when we can really make realize that we are a connected company inside and outside. So our, our limit is on the same thing, our USP, uh, Bosch as a connected company, and this internal change and this consistency between internal and external, I would say this is the real game change. Uh, for every company to go into this digital transformation. And we just started, we feel good, and let's see how far we get. Thank you. <clears throat>